Do you feel the Christmas spirit? I think I do. And I just received a new comment. It's the newest comment I've received as of the filming of this video. I made a video called My Heritage. Is Italian DNA endangered? Is anyone even 50% according to their DNA test? I got an interesting comment. I haven't really received one like this yet. From Kiki Weathers. She says, quote, Interesting. I grew up thinking I was half black and Central American, meaning Mayan and Spanish, she says, and Portuguese mix. Well, did my DNA, and I'm more than 20% Italian and Sardinian, and only 8% Iberian. Crazy. I had no idea and still have no idea where it came from, end quote. So, uh, as I read that, I think that's an interesting comment, too, because I am, one of my fascinations with DNA test uh, is what the results look like for someone who is of African descent, especially if you're an African American. Um, now, my test didn't show up any African, but my mother's did. She showed up, I think, 2%, which meant my grandfather uh, was, was 4%. Of course, uh, he was supposed to be the Italian, but that apparently was Jewish and Middle Eastern. Uh, so it is interesting. I mean, go up a few more generations, and I guess you'd find an ancestor where you'd see that African ancestry. And me, you don't really see it, do you? Uh, not, I don't guess I do. I know it's there. I know without it, I wouldn't exist. But I have been fascinated uh, and intrigued and curious to hear from some, from some people who are of African descent, and especially if you identify as someone who is African American. I'm especially curious to know how that is. From what I've heard uh, and read and seen on that show, Who Do You Think You Are? From my understanding, if you're African American, chances are you're something along the line, somewhere along the lines of two thirds of African descent and somewhere around one third European descent for the most part. Uh, so, uh, so that's interesting because when someone thinks that they're half black, actually they're not even necessarily half black. So I think if I'm reading this comment correctly, that's what I'm understanding. Uh, that the part of you that you consider to be black isn't fully black. It's not actually 50%. And it's kind of like with my mom, who thought she was 50% Italian. She gets the results back, and she was only 4% Italian, but her family came from Italy. So I think, that, I think this speaks something of anyone who thinks that they're half of anything. If you're half of anything, Prepare to be surprised slash disappointed when you're not actually half of that thing. So I'm, I'm really grateful for this comment. It's, uh, it's a very good point made. And, and, and I feel that this is not the first time I've had someone specifically say, I thought I was half of something and I wasn't. But specifically too, if, if, if you are of African descent and you identify, especially let's say as an African American or you identify as black, I'm really curious to know what your results are I just find it fascinating uh, that for so many of us, we can think our whole lives we're, we're this and we're this, and we find out we're not. I mean, that definitely was my case. A lot of what I thought I was, was was accurate, but there were parts of it that definitely uh, were off, and I've talked about that before. So I wanna make this video for anyone specifically who identifies as African-American. You've taken a DNA test through a place like MyHeritage, uh, 23andMe, any, any of them. I'm curious to know what your results are. I really want to learn from this experience because right now, based on my limited knowledge, in my mind, most people who are African American are somewhere along the lines of two thirds of African descent and one third European. So, so if someone has, let's say, a black father and a white mother and they have a child and we think, oh, well, yeah, the, the child is, is half black, half white. In reality, they may be easily more than 50% white and, and, and not as much African, maybe only 35%. I don't know. I want to learn. That's why I'm making this video. And this is what inspired it. So I, a special thank you goes out uh, to our new friend here, Kiki Weathers. Thank you for, so much for inspiring this. I'm fascinated. I'm ready to learn. So I'm eager for people to share more comments and share their DNA if you are of African descent, especially if you're of African American descent. Help me understand more uh, about how this works and whether this preconceived, or not a preconceived idea, I mean, I, I've researched it, but this idea that if you're African American, you're really only about two thirds African. Uh, teach me, I wanna know.